In this video, we play the Churchill Crocodile. Yes, that is a flamethrower. Hope you guys enjoy this video, where I get a kill over the top of a house. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we play the Churchill Crocodile. And I told you all in the Discord that flamethrowers will be coming to War Thunder soon. And we have one now. Now, I think what Gaijin have done here, they've dipped their toe into the water rather than add some absolutely ridiculous overpowered flamethrower tank at a very low BR where it would be no fun to face. But they've gone and picked the Churchill 7, which is in my opinion, one of the worst heavy tanks in War Thunder. Now, no doubt some Brit mains have just spat their tea all over their keyboard, but I've got very good reason for it. This thing says at BR 4.7, there's far better heavy tanks at this BR that can punch way above their weight. Whereas this guy has on the standard gun at max 103mm of penetration, which is not great. Now the armor and face value on this vehicle looks incredibly strong and honestly for 4.7 some things will struggle with this. Although Russian tanks will just blast through this angle plate here, no problem at all. But we got 152mm of armour pretty much all around in the front. We've got 20mm track armour and other places as well that kind of aid that. There's no real weak spot because the MG port is, well, in this particular one, the flamethrower port, is quite strong. Lower plate is great, the side armour is okay, but there's a slight issue here. You can actually kill this thing with a 50 cal. Yeah. 13 millimeters of armor. But the thing that lets this down the most is really is mobility. It is frighteningly bad at traversing the battlefield. You'll regularly get stuck at speeds of less than 10 kilometers per hour. And the fact that you'll face panthers and tigers that will just go straight through your armor is a bit of a chore. Also, Gaijin saw fit to add the new VK Panther at 5.0, a whole point three BR above this, which is to me pretty insane. Now onto the thing you clicked on the video for, the flamethrower. How good is it? Well, in all honesty, it's not. It's a good funny meme whenever you get an open top or an SPA in front of you and you can absolutely roast them to death uh, and we'll definitely do it later on in this video. However, if this thing gets damaged in any way, it will burn up. It won't kill you thankfully just because it's not actually inside your vehicle, but if it gets hit, you lose all of your fuel, it takes 2 minutes to refill it on a cap after you've repaired it, so it's not really that viable, but the odd game that you do get, it is pretty funny. <laughs> Honestly, if it was a Sherman Crocodile where it's actually affixed to the turret and you can rotate it, it would be much more fun to play. Actually, it would be a bit too much utility probably at a specific BR, just because there are quite a lot of open tops. But one thing this thing can do, is it can scorch an area in front of you, and that means that open top tanks and trucks, etc., can't drive through there lest they burn to death. So it's got a little bit of utility so long as this thing is still active. And most people will shoot at it, unfortunately, and then that will just knock your flamethrower out and we can't make a funny video. Now, I've got two games to show you in this thing. The first one is an absolutely insane game I had on Port Novo. Uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It was a bit of a struggle. I managed to survive till the end, which is pretty cool. Uh, but if you're looking for flamethrower kills, uh, after playing three games with no success, I managed to get three in one match, and all of them are pretty hilarious. Uh, so a good combination of realistic type gameplay. I don't like to fake stuff for videos or go out of my way to do things. This was the real experience I had in the Crocodile. It wasn't really a super fun one, uh, except when funny meme flamethrower. Anyway, let's get into battle. I'll show you how I got one. Right, you did. We actually got a really bad spawn back here. Let's go. We're going to head towards B. I kind of wish we were on the other side. But there we are. Uh, USA, Russia, Italy. I get picked off with a bread. I even trying to just go over to the B side. I, I hate getting a bad spawn and being last. You stuck in all this crap. Okay, my teammate seems to have been upset. I, th I think I'm going to make it. I'm probably going to get this trailer shot again. A man's just ghost rider here. That's right, you know something. Oh, smoke shells are better than grenade launchers, apparently. Right, there we go. We made it past. Oh, 
Hold that. And that one. Right, back to normal shells. And we've left a nice little gap for us to shoot. If any enemies are on that corner. Sending it in. Right, let's, let's go here. An m 4 just killed my teammate out where I want to go. Gave you one as well. Hey Lord, I hate you for this boy. Never mind, that's my barrel and he's dead. Is that an IS-1? Hold up. This will help a little bit. I'm, I'm half angled here, but we're just going to keep getting tracked. Give me my barrel bag. KV-85. Right. We're both tracked now. Right, let me let me square this back up again. I can't lower from play this guy. He's got my barrel again. Do I want to repair you? Hold up. He's just shot the track armor off his the thing that's not giving him enough pen right now. At least this flamethrower is gonna stop people coming through. Thank you, teammate. And he's repaired. Okay, I've just had my track blown off by artillery. That's a Sherman. We're reloading. This is incredibly frustrating. I can't even go through that guy's side of that angle either. Who's bombing us? We're okay. We get some fire longer range just in case any open top strike pushes like M10s, etc. That KV died though, right? Or was he just. Yeah, he's dead. Right, is the little Italian guy still there? Yes, he is. Medical drives out? This guy's still 50 cal on me. He doesn't want to move, it seems. It's because he doesn't have to, he can still shoot at me. Right, where, where is this Sherman? I, I can't see him. This is so awkward. We're going round. Oh, somebody got flipped here. Wait, what's on B cap? I got his loader. The loader ate my entire shell. Just gun on that time. Right, good. But what took B? Okay, this guy's just fired. It's a T thirty four E. Wait there, don't move. I need you to not move. I have to come and get you. Medical drivers out. Each shot's making it easier. Where's your teammate, so Because they're. It's not really you I'm worried about now. There goes my flamethrower. Surely our teammate's gonna hit this guy. He can't repair, so I'm not that bothered about him. I'm. 
bothered about his teammates turning up to help him though. Like this guy. Right, tracked him so he can't do anything. That shot did absolutely nothing to this guy. Shoot my barrel though. Okay, barrel's out. Did someone get that guy behind me, I hope. And here we go, the, this, the long painful grind of knocking a crew member out at a time. The artillery's changing the elevation of my gun. Okay, his, his breach is out now. Finally got his gunner back. We, we got the B cap at least, right? Now he's got my barrel. Thank you, teammate. I appreciate the effort here. Now, don't die. He tried. Right, now he's stuck. You wanna give some angle here, or what? I got his driver, wow. Okay, we both hit the wall. I've got better reload. I sprinkled some confetti on him this time. Finally. Oh, this is just pain. I don't even have my trailer. I feel like the flamethrower has just been completely useless on this thing just because it's on a Churchill. Can't see anything. There's another KV-1 coming. Right, he, he can't shoot at least. I don't know if the T-34 knows that or not, so... He probably don't. Right, now he can't move. And there's no fuel tank on this side. Yes, there is. I'm stupid. There we go. Right, what's pushing up my right side now? My teammate's getting shot by a plane. An M16. Now I wish I had my flamethrower. I'm actually scared of the M16. He can kill me. We've got 10 millimeters of side armor. Right, there, there goes the guy on C finally. Don't see nothing here. Eh? Right. Where's the another M16? Or AG. There's loads of planes. Where's that M16 going? And there's an enemy on C cap now. Right, okay. Things could be going better. It's bad news for that guy. The M16 is pushing me. I wonder what happens if I... If I put my trailer over the edge of the bridge. A T-34 just killed my teammate on A. What the heck? Surely not. Right, okay. That happened. I'm hoping my team actually, like, starts pulling up the caps and stuff. 
Because that's already exploded. Am I going to eat this trailer? It looks like it. Okay, that, that arty literally just cut out all other audio. I, I can hear two people. This guy's coming around this way. But again, I'm still marked on the map. It's another T-34E. Okay, so I gave my 4D chest with this guy. Okay, I've got reload. You track me, I track you, right? I also take your whole entire turret crew. How about that, then? Eh? How about that? Go on, get your gunner back now. I mean, shot from behind. The Sherman can injure me, but I don't think he can actually do anything else. I missed this barrel, but my teammate's shooting the bejesus out of him. <laughs> You're getting killed by the other guy. Right now, now he's useless. Hey, right, thank you, teammate. How are we on a double ace? I'm so angry. Well, it was nice existing. <laughs> it was nice existing, there we go, KB dude. Still no flamethrower kill. Anyway, uh, do we respawn into this? I got a nuke worth of spawn points. How the heck? Dude, how? I, I really hate the Churchill, dude. Look at the amount of points we got. I've not seen that amount of points for a long time. A long time. I'm going to have to respawn here. Our teammates might not be able to make the carry. Hold on, we're an anti here. Nearly. Hey, where did that plane go? I want a flamethrower him. Oh, there's one there. Come to me. Nearly. Yo, what is this? What is that supposed to be? Wait a minute. I don't understand. Is that the Crusader? Do you see that? Tiny little blue square. Oh, J22 is dead. I think we're going to win this. Yeah, bomb me. Come here. Come and bomb me. No, me! Oh, damn, dude. We could have uh, flamethrower killed an aeroplane if he was going to come and get us. This game, though, we, we did it. Somehow. Somehow we did it, dude. GG. That blue thing's still there. Listen, I don't want to get too excited here, but it's a full down tier. And we're against Germany, which means murders and stuff like that, right? Surely. Oh, USA as well, M10s. Only thing is, an M10 can punch us, which kind of sucks. After that slog on Port Novo, I'd very much like an easy game. To be honest, the Port Novo game was pretty fun. I think like three or four of my kills over SPA, which I don't think really counts. I I'm going to tuck in this right hand side here and see if anyone wants to overtake me. Because we're, uh, we're taking over a bit here. Is that another Churchill? It is. It's the non-trailer version. You know what I want to try sometime? Would it be viable to have two Churchills, a tank destroyer and a, a decent medium tank? Like, Churchill two abreast, you know, tanking shots for as long as they can, really. Which is probably not that long. And then, see, see if that would work as a viable strat. 
Because I've... Oh, hi. Ah, okay. I've played with squads before, and generally the best way to play is how you feel comfortable playing. It's kind of nice to know that we'll not run into a Panther VK anytime soon. Was that... Was that our teammate that died over here? Oh, really. How, how is that arty affecting my aim from here? So, someone's on this corner. It's a sav. Yep. And a sav, he's dead. I was gonna say we can flame him and he can't do anything to me. What's shooting? Something with 50 cars coming. I'm gonna keep. You got his engine? Yeah! There we go! That's one. This man is an M10. That got his breach. But I think my teammate just killed him. Damn, dude. That's the first ever flamethrower kill I've got so far. And we played like what? Three matches in this? Four, sorry. Two very boring ones and then that exciting one. There's a there's a guy in front of us, Sherman boy. Careful, you see the trees going down? He has now. You should let me go first. I'm big stinky battering ram. The guy's moved on. Wait, we do the breach first, right? Good lad. Right. My teammate's gonna finish him off, that's awesome. Anything to my left. That's a bomb. A very big Swedish bomb. Well, that's unfortunate. And that took us three and a half minutes to get there. We did three and a half back again. Let's go. I think genuinely if someone's up on the seawall and it's opened up, we can flame them too. Yeah, they're, they're getting me. For sure. Heavy tank there. Still there. Heavy tank. T14? That'll be the one. Uh, we can't do very much to that. One of the most frustrating things. Oh, hey. Don't tell me this is the same Swedish guy. Yes, dude. There we go. He tried to track me. I never made any noise going up here, so. But I did get shot, so. Somebody might be waiting on me. Trying to traverse this thing on a, but a flat ground is hard enough. The T14 died. That's our biggest threat. Two flame kills in one match. I'll take it. When a machine gun would have done the trick anyway, another chaffy here. Or is it? it sure is. That's gonna sting. Thanks, KV1. Very cool of you. Uh, at least he got him. Mac. Oh, there's another Mad Max truck coming. Right, wait, wait there. Don't move. Oh, okay. Wait. This is annoying. It's HE o'clock. Right. Back to solid. Uh oh. We're alright. These bombs are too small, P39. More SPA would be good. We just didn't have our flamethrower last game because somebody shot it, right? But we got it now for the end game stuff. Anti airs and things like that. I got back up for this KV1 as well, which is super nice. Somebody just shoot me. This is my teammate. Good grief, dude. That, that artillery needs to be changed again. Pathetic shot. He's driving out, though. Yeah, yeah, teammates. Hey, behind me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the right idea now. Don't ram me, though.
What type of T thirty four is this? I think it's a a Finnish one. If it is, it can't do anything to me. What were you? That's not good. We, we can't actually pin this guy. The KB can. Okay, I got him in his weak spot. I think I hear an SBA shooting. I'm gonna let this KB go first. Patrick Boo. That T-34 is still in this field somewhere. Oh, well, that SBA is dead. Let's just chop across here. We're not here for a long time, we're here for a good time, right? Load the APCR, dude. I did nothing. So that I don't understand how I didn't pin him. That's better. Driver port, maybe? I got his engine, but not his driver. Okay. So many planes are oh, all theirs now. Okay, I'll live give. Another man, Max truck. I'm coming for you. Mark me on the map. Do you think I can hit him? Oh, he's gonna die to this plane. I don't know, there's anyone got him. Do you think I can shoot my flame over this building? We're about to find out. Oh! Yes! Oh, we're gonna have to look in the replay for that one. Oh my goodness, dude. Yes, dude, let's go. Oh, are you as well? A BT-42. That's a shame. A Pufkov. Hit me. Do something. Ah, oh, when I got him, damn. So although I got probably one of the most spectacular kills I've had in a long while with that flamethrower over the top of the building, this thing, it, it kind of sucks, and it just sucks because it's a Churchill. I was hoping to get some good meme kills, maybe even get a plane with a flamethrower, but I'm going to leave that for a later video. We'll just do specifically go out of our way to get flamethrower kills with this thing and, and see how we do. Now, if you want this, the good news is it's free on the battle pass. It just will take you a little while to get there. Whereabouts are we? Level 50... Yeah, level 51 is. And if you want to trade it coupon wise I think you have to get to level 25 or something 125 so yeah battle pass free get it have fun enjoy yourself uh, hopefully so before I head off I'm planning to put a video out every single day in November I have a new PC coming at some point next month which should speed up content drastically my PC has been black screening which is really difficult I have to unplug it from the wall plug it back in reboot everything it's very tedious uh, so thank you for bearing with me this month there's not been as much content as I would like to get put out uh, but that's the reason why so we should be back full swing uh, within the next couple of weeks anyway uh, if you enjoyed this video please remember to hit the like button it helps me out massively if you're not already subscribed please make sure you hit the subscribe button it helps me out huge as always a huge thanks to all my members over on discord and on patreon thank you guys very 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 much for supporting me over there I really appreciate it to everyone who is tier 3 over on Discord, that's Smokey, Toast McGee, Gigi Bra, Sexy, Purple Burglar Alarm, that's Sunfish trying to troll me, thank you very much Sunfish, White Wolf, Icarus, Otherwell, Bo, Bofe, Distari, Fearless, Germ, Free, Frosts, Jamie, Marushin, Rusty, Squeezel, Stoyan, Terry Bad and Zig, thank you guys very much. And of course to everyone over on Patreon, that's Sickness Win, Matthew S, Eric Fear, Jesse Mills, Paul Wendrick, Zitago Guy, FTN Watermelon, Shane McGuire, Anderson Win, Brandon aka The Flying Pickle, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Handsome Tatia, Kane the Salt Lord, Coil Mene, Ralph, Rage, Tectonic, Tanks Gone World, Vanny and Warpig, Shaf, Alicia Mortan and Stoyan, J Tommy, David Pyrophoric, Shmoo, and the one, the only, Rosalini, and to everyone else still here. Thank you very much for watching.
מצב. אין, ביי.